Have you ever wondered why one of the most important engine components, the part that moves up and down thousands of times per minute, is called a piston? It's a word we hear everywhere in the world of mechanics. Piston engines, piston rings, piston rods. But where did this name actually come from? Today, we're diving into the surprising linguistic, mechanical, and historical roots of the term piston, and we'll discover how a simple idea that started centuries ago evolved into the force behind modern transportation, machinery, and even the tools we use every day. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. To understand why it's called a piston, we have to go all the way back to the early European languages that shaped many engineering terms. The word piston traces its origins to the French word piston, which itself came from the Italian term pistone. But the story goes even deeper. Pistone is derived from the verb pistare, which means to pound, to crush, or to stamp. This root idea of pounding and compressing perfectly matches what pistons do inside engines. They forcefully compress air and fuel and transfer powerful bursts of energy into mechanical motion. And this Italian verb connects even further back to the Latin word pinzere, meaning to beat or to press. In other words, the origin of piston literally points to a device that pushes, presses, and moves with force, exactly what pistons are designed to do. So the reason it's called a piston is not random at all. It's a name born from the action it performs. Early engineers named components based on what they physically did, and the piston was no exception. Before pistons became engine parts, the concept already existed in simpler machines like pumps. In old water pumps, a manual piston was pushed down and pulled up inside a cylinder to move water. This physical motion, this act of pressing and lifting, mirrored the action described by the Italian and Latin roots. As these pump mechanisms evolved over the centuries, the term piston stayed with them, eventually becoming the official name for the sliding, pressure-creating component inside a cylinder. By the 17th and 18th centuries, the Industrial Revolution gave new meaning to the word. Early steam engines created by pioneers like Thomas Newcomen and James Watt relied heavily on large pistons, these early pistons were massive iron cylinders driven by steam pressure to move pumps in mines, providing unprecedented power compared to human labor or animals. As steam technology spread, the term piston became mainstream in engineering, firmly linking it with machinery that converted pressure into motion. And when internal combustion engines were invented in the late 1800s, Engineers kept the term because the component performed the exact same job. It moved back and forth inside a cylinder, compressing gases and delivering power. But beyond history and linguistics, the name also reflects the piston's fundamental function in modern engines. Inside a combustion engine, the piston is the central component that brings the entire process to life. It compresses the air-fuel mixture during the compression stroke, gets pushed downward by combustion during the power stroke, and transfers that force through the connecting rod to the crankshaft. Every single movement of your car, motorcycle, generator, or lawnmower can be traced back to the rhythmic action of pistons. So the ancient meaning of pounding or pressing still describes perfectly what pistons do today, but now at thousands of cycles per minute. Interestingly, 
the influence of the word piston can be seen in many related terms we still use. For example, pistol also comes from similar European linguistic roots, referring to a handheld firearm that uses explosive force to propel a projectile. While not mechanically identical, both a pistol and a piston involve pressure, force, and a sudden release of energy. Likewise, the term pestle, the tool used for grinding in a mortar, shares roots with pinzeri, meaning to crush or beat. All these words illustrate how early engineers and craftsmen described tools by their physical motion, and those descriptions carried forward for centuries. As technology advanced, pistons became even more refined and crucial. Today, pistons are made from lightweight aluminum alloys, precision machined to glide smoothly inside cylinders while sealing combustion pressure with piston rings. Their design may be modern, but the name still carries that ancient description of a pressing, pounding mechanism. Whether inside a turbocharged sports car, a massive diesel truck, a jet's auxiliary power unit, or even a small hydraulic device, the piston remains one of the most essential moving parts in human-made machines. So the next time you hear the word piston, remember that it's more than just a piece of engine anatomy. It's a name that carries the weight of centuries of mechanical evolution from simple wooden pumps to roaring steam engines to the highly engineered metal components that power our world today. It's a word shaped by ancient languages and chosen because of the exact action the device performs, and it beautifully captures the core idea behind all engines. Take pressure, convert it into motion, and repeat it over and over again with astonishing speed and precision. In the end, it's called a piston, because that's exactly what it has always done. To press, to push, to pound, and to transform energy into movement. A simple word with a powerful legacy, and a reminder that even the most advanced technologies today are built upon ideas and names born hundreds of years ago. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.